Welcome to Hunter's Heart Double Blind Verification of Scent Dogs. In nose work competition, teams undergo a blind search where the judge sets up a hide and evaluates the team's performance. The handler and their dog don't know where the location of the hide is, and the handler calls an alert or clear when he believes that the dog has completed a search of the area and no target odor is present. The handler is required to specify an indication on his entry form and the dog must be exhibiting the indication behavior or behaviors listed on the form when the handler calls an alert. There is a growing body of research on canine olfaction, learning, and statistical reliability of scent dogs. Research suggests how to minimize errors before, during, and after training. Research recommends that handlers trust and verify their dogs. For an even more objective verification of scent dogs, research recommends a double-blind test to minimize bias. Here's how it works. We used five container searches for each dog, and each search is five boxes. The search either contains one hide or no target odor. The hide official is the only person who knows the location of the hide. Before every search, she rolls dice and uses that random number to determine hide location in box one to five, or if she rolls a six, the search is clear with no target odor. The hide official records the location on her sheet and sets up the search with nobody else in the room. In the meantime, the indication recorder has never met the test teams. Ideally, it's an objective evaluator that's new to nose work but has been trained how to score the test. Before a dog starts its searches, the indication recorder asks the handler for his dog's precise indication behavior and records it. Rocky's indication is a pause with touching his paw. Because the indication recorder doesn't know the location of the hide, it is unlikely that she could influence the test results whether intentionally or unintentionally. Similarly, it's a blind search for the handler. The handler doesn't know the location of the hide and doesn't need to call an alert. The handler won't receive any feedback from any official until his dog has completed all the searches. This simulates the real world environment of working scent detection teams, where the handler can't know if odor is present or not but has to make decisions based on his dog's indication behavior, given that results may arrive days or even weeks later. And Rocky got a difficult assignment for the last search, which was clear, but he correctly cleared the room. The handler may reward his dog at any location at any time, and we encourage handlers to do so, based on their subjective impression of whether the dog is doing his job. Further, we suggest that the handler, even if he sent the dog to the search at a distance, would reward the dog at source. We've only used pre-qualified teams that have all the skills required for this test. So the teams had demonstrated the ability to search, find, and indicate odor, including blind searches, including distance with those odors, and including clearing rooms. To date, we've had at least an 80% pass rate when including clearing rooms using this double blind test. BB's indication is a down.
And here, the indication on box 3 was correct. Coda's indication is more subtle. It's a pause with focus. In this search, Coda successfully cleared the room. In this search, Coda correctly indicated box 2. And with another random number, Coda correctly indicated box 2. In conclusion, Double-blind testing objectively evaluates scent dog performance and might be a fun challenge to add to your repertoire. Thanks for joining us. Questions and comments are always welcome.